Moving to stock, we have a Toyota Yaris 1.33 VVTi, and it's the T-Spirit 5-door, 2011 on 11 plate, 54,056 miles. Fuel economy, 44.1 urban, 61.4 extra urban, 54.3 combined, 0-60 time of 11.7 seconds. On my, on my sheet here, it says a top speed of 175 miles per hour, but somehow I don't think that's correct. So we'll go for a guess at 105. Uh, it's a 101 brake horsepower engine, um, very economical car. Road tax is only 30 pounds a, a year and uh, it's MOT'd until the 30th of April, 2019. Finished in magnetic gray metallic with um, gray cloth upholstery, a lovely little car. Eight spoke alloy wheels there. It has uh, tinted glass, colour-coded door handles, and uh, it's uh, the car's lovely all round. Um, reasonably big boot. Again, I've got all my camera equipment in it. It's uh, got a, a load cover here, and uh, the back seats independently split and will fold forward. Let me see, I think, yeah, the back seats actually slide forward as well, giving you more room. Just put that headrest down. Reversing sensors, oh, just showing the back seats. There's actually bags of room in this little car. Um, if you put the headrest up there you can sit back I've got I've got ample room um, also it's a really good feature you can actually recline the seat so you can put the put the seat further back like that and again plenty of room if you've only if you've got children in the car and you need more luggage space you can also let's see you can also move forward <laughs> And crush your knees if you're an adult but if you've got kids in the car it gives you loads more uh, luggage space I'll just take you for a drive in it now a proper remote key with a with a blade Um, this car has got a, a great service history as well, um, all Toyota, and it was done, first of all, 1st of May 2014 at um, 19,918 miles, that's at Beadle's Toyota Gillingham, then on the 14th of July 2016 at 39,982 at Lindop's Toyota Wrexham, then the 24th of May 2017, 48,988 miles, uh, Lindup's Toyota Wrexham again. 14th of June 2018 at 53,901, Lindup's Toyota Wrexham. Car's done 54,063, so uh, it's, <laughs> it's only done a, a couple of hundred miles if that uh, since it was last serviced so obviously as often happens they take the car into the showroom for a service or to the garage for a service walk through the showroom to the service reception you have to walk past all the nice shiny new cars and uh, the uh, the gentleman or lady has fallen victim to one of the salesmen and bought a new car right uh, the yaris is surprising it seems to be bigger inside than it is outside. There's bags of room in the back and there's bags of room here. I've got loads of headroom. And uh, to be honest, it, it, I've not even got my seat all the way back. That, that's probably all the way back and where I like to drive. But um, there, there is just bags of room. So uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it. There we go. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Now I'm assuming that you must be able to get an accessory to 
uh, put in the back there and have a reversing camera. This has got reversing sensors, but as soon as you engage reverse, the screen goes blank there, so um, I imagine you can just fit a camera if you want. It has got sat-nav this car, and at first I thought that was a, um, an aftermarket radio, but it's actually got Toyota on there. And I'll just show you a little bit. You can you can take the front off there, and uh, so nobody nicks it. And it's that's the size of a, a Tom Tom screen, and it is uh, a Tom Tom Bluetooth CD radio. Down here we've got USB and auxiliary in sockets, and we've also got the Eco off. So we'll press that. Now, I can tell you now, that's going to drive me mad. It's, it's just raining lightly in the UK, and that needs a new wiper blade. And I meant to get one before I came out, and I forgot. So uh, it needs, I know the back wiper blade's all right, the front wiper blade's not. Um, I mean, obviously, it's been really sunny here in the UK, so probably the, the previous owners never uh, never used it. The blades look all right, but they're not. They've obviously gone hard, and uh, I'm surprised that the Toyota garage didn't pick up on that uh, when it was in for service. The mechanic not doing his job properly. Very reliable cars, Toyota, and always high up there in the owner reliability. graphs and uh, reports every year and to be honest I think it was whether it was what car or something like that but uh, voted the most reliable car for many years so seats are comfortable they're, they're built up nice hard wearing cloth on them um, this light grey plastic matches the dark grey plastic there same sort of pattern but contrasty and uh, hard wearing and nice you've got two little cubby holes glove box there no doubt that's probably going to rattle we'll see how we get on with that but your locking wheel nut keys in there and also what looks like probably a bulb kit oops just breaking it now you have to excuse me i've only been driving for just a little over 43 years. Great gearbox. Toyotas are really nice. I'd, I'd say on a par with Ford gearboxes, which are probably my, my favorite. Just so easy. Go straight in gear. And you know just as they go through the gate oh, super to drive so the back seats split independently in a 60 40 configuration got a rear load cover over that you can slide the seats forward it's uh, when they've designed this Toyota Yaris they've, they've really thought about it a little car and you can maximize the the, the boot space if, if, the, if it's only kids in the back you can bring the seats forward and get as much boot space as, as possible so uh, that, that rubber blade's gone really hard that often happens in the uh, in the winter too de-isis seems to affect the properties of the rubber so when people are de-icing the screen, the next thing you know is your, your wipers have gone. And we'll, uh, that's the rear wash wipe, that's working fine. Squirting as well. Yep. Electric windows. The wind-up windows in the back, the, as I say, it's small five doors. Very, very difficult to find, few and far between, really. It's, uh, it's quite strange 
not having your speedo in front of you here. And uh, if, if I'm honest, no clocks there. I really can't understand why they haven't moved the switch gear further up so you can see it here and it's uh, easier to put your hand straight on. Anyway, they've thought of everything else so we'll let them off with that. Nice big clear instrument display. Rev counter on the left, speedo on the right and then you've got kind of a bar gauge for your fuel, uh, time and odometer there. Um, today showing 16 degrees outside it's, uh, we, we seem to have come to the end of our heat wave in the UK we've got little um, bottle holders in this oddments tray and the, the door pockets so uh, it won't hold a massive bottle but you know an ordinary coke bottle or something like that will slot in and it's it's shaped to fit it so it's not going to rattle around or fall over in one of them racing Luton vans. Down here we've got the electric door mirror controls. That's, uh, that's working nicely as well, the driver's side. Flick it over to passenger. Yeah, that's good too. We've got air conditioning there. Turn that to low. And then the switch at the bottom, or the selector at the bottom, that allows you to divert the air to your face, your feet, or a windscreen. This system is Bluetooth hands-free and sat-nav. spoke alloy wheels on it, got a rear wash wipe, we always do very very well with these, in fact the only fault I can think is when the Yaris first came out the bottom virtual half of the dashboard consisted of just the radio and the CD and, and for some reason they used to go quite a lot and they were about 900 quid so uh, I'm assuming that now they've gone back to the like the double din E size so even if this does go you can just get something that slots straight in rather than having to buy the original thing from Toyota which uh, brought a tear to my eye on several occasions having to pay for one. Multifunction steering wheel, when, when I say multifunction, it's got two, steering and uh, your volume control here and mode switch. So you can just turn. There you go. Six speed gearbox. Nice and quiet. Uh, we're only doing 60 at the moment. The motorway is pretty busy. And we'll try and get up to 70. People in the fast lane leaving, leaving about 10 foot between them. Right, so there we go. Seventy miles an hour 
as quiet as a luxury car, I would say, and uh, just short of 3,000 revs. Drop out of warp here and slot in. Not, not that I would have done, but I'm glad I didn't uh, go to turn off left here thinking he was going straight on because I'd be in the crash barriers now. No indication, just pull over. clean inside there's nowhere uh, nowhere on the steering wheel or one, one problem with this hard plastic is that uh, it tends to get scratch around where you pull the door to if, if somebody's been wearing rings and stuff but th this is all nice and once it's been scratched there's nothing you can do to bring it back really because it's it's got also got kind of a stippled effect Goodness me, I'm not confident, no. I thought she was going to pull back again then. So if you decide you want to buy this car, I won't be able to do it this afternoon. Remind me and check that we've uh, changed these wipers. Because as I say, it's, it's, only, it's only been serviced uh, a very, very short time ago. Uh, so although we will give it a check over, we'd, we'd expect that uh, it didn't need anything. And it does. Let's say, the gear, the gearboxes are superb, and it's so nice to drive. It is a little car, but it doesn't drive like a little car. Oh, please let me get out before this tractor. Handles really well. feel faster than the 0 to 60 time suggests. It's 
certainly quite fast at 40 so whether it runs out of steam just getting up towards 60 I'm not sure but the, uh, the, the information it's given on Autotrader it, it doesn't do 175 miles an hour I can assure you <laughs> And if it did, I wouldn't like to be in it when it was. <laughs> ideal second car, ideal first car. And to be honest, it, 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 it'll do everything that a family would need. show you how to work the sat nav when we get back and uh, also pair and delete a mobile To be fair, we haven't had any rain for uh, a good while. proper inertia reel seat belts in the back as well and uh, isofix child seats or child seat fastening seats Joy to drive. So gearbox. Don't come any easier than that.
Here we go back at the garage. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from this uh, Toyota, um, what does it say there, 13836 TomTom -tom audio system. So from any, we'll, we'll just go to radio, from any screen, click the button, you've got here, it's come onto the sat nav there and you've got kind of a play button there, you can either press back or if we, if we click back it goes onto the sat nav, click on it again, click the play button and that takes you to well, it takes you through the the actual um, menu of the map so you you come to mobile phone bottom left hand corner mobile phone read write message phone preferences call get numbers from phone manage phones so we need to go in bottom right manage phones and then you, you're showing my phone barry's iphone find all the phones delete barry's iphone that's what we want to do are you sure you want to delete barry's iphone 10 yes Okay, I'll just show you how to um, pair a mobile to this uh, Bluetooth audio system in the Toyota. It's a Toyota 13836 TomTom. -tom. From any screen, um, well, first of all, just make sure that your Bluetooth is on. It, it's, picked that, it's picked the system up straight away just by switching Bluetooth on. That's the TomTom -tom Toyota 2. But I'll show you how to do that. If you just click that, it, you, you'll start the pairing system. But, say for instance you can't, from any screen, uh, it's on the radio, click the round button, on sat nav, click sat nav, and you've got there, mobile phone is in the bottom left hand corner. It may not be on that screen, it may be on one of these others, so all you do is press this blue play button until you get to mobile phones. Click on mobile phone, mobile phone, to use the hands-free features you need to establish a Bluetooth connection between your phone and your TomTom -tom Toyota 2. Do you want to do that now? Yes. Please make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. Well, it is enabled, so yes. Searching for phones, one moment please. It'll come up here hands-free and then change to TomTom. -tom. Connect to Barry's iPhone, yes. And there you go, TomTom. -tom. Click on TomTom. -tom. And it says, if your phone asks for a password, enter 0000 pair. I don't want it to allow my contacts to sync. So that's it, Toyota, TomTom -tom Toyota connected. There we go. The phone Barry's iPhone 10 is now ready for hands-free calling. The following features were found. Hands-free calling, phone book, tone, keyboard. Continue, continue. This phone does not seem to be capable of making a wireless data connection. TomTom -tom services cannot be used with this phone. But do you want to copy the phone book from your mobile? I don't want to do it, but you probably will. Now, one other thing. If you click on the screen, you see their mobile phone change preferences. Use night colours, show points of interest on maps, safety preferences, voice preferences. Done. Go back into mobile phone. Phone preferences. Bluetooth preferences. If for any reason you can't pair your mobile phone, just go into this menu. You see there, if there's a cross on, or if there's a cross on, enable Bluetooth you're okay but if there's no cross then you need to tick that it'll come on in a second there you go so that's Bluetooth enabled and also you've got here enable wireless data so I've just enabled that as well that's how you do it